guys. <laughs> Check out my Pokeballs. <laughs> So you guys, I got a Pokeball bra. Score. It's not it's not the same anymore. I'm not going through that like cracky voice awkward stage. Pokey boobs, I choose you. But anyways, so I posted a picture on my Instagram and Facebook of me and this badass Pokeball bra that I made. What? Everyone was all crazy and all about the Pokeball bra that I, I got on. So I decided to make a video with some more information about it and just talking about Pokemon stuff in general because my family has been pretty Pokey obsessed lately. So a lot of you guys wanted to know more about this, this baby, this Poke bra, this, this bad boy. And um, I made it myself. I used an old bra and um, this is felt. I used felt and glued it all on together. Um, so this is what that looks like up close for you guys to see. It's like I have button nipples. How crazy would that be if I like poked my nips and was like and then like this Pokemon just came flying out of my boobs. That would be, that would be awesome. That would be one of the coolest things in the world that really happened. But anyways, that is what I use to make this particular Poke bra. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to crafts, and I don't like how the felt kind of like wrinkled up in certain places. I'm going to try making some more of them, but I like the 3D effect of like the button, how they look pushable and stuff. So I'm going to keep that, but I think I'm just going to switch up and try to do some different things with them until I get the result that I want. I'm starting to get more involved in the cosplay world. It's something I've always had an interest in, but lately it's like, I don't know, there's a lot of cons happening and my little sister's super into it, so I'm a lot more into it and everything and just, yes. So I'm working on like a Pokemon cosplay and I'm not positive what Pokemon I want to incorporate into this, but I'm going to have Pokeball boobies. I know that much and I'm going to have like the rest of me decked out in like a Pokemon theme so it'll just kind of be like a cluster of Pokemon all together but uh yes I have also had a couple people asking me if I would make them Poke Bros so if you would like me to make you one you can send me a message and we can talk details mm-hmm yeah we recently started like re-watching Pokemon like the original one um, on Netflix, and I forgot how much of a little, like, asshole that Pikachu is in the beginning. Like, he was such a little turd. He was so mean. And, like, when you go back and look, like, a majority of them were. Like, they were sassy. Like, I didn't realize it as much when I was a little kid, but now I go back and look, and I'm like, damn, you need to calm down. You are some feisty critters. Pikachu, what's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> I'm like surrounded by awesome pokiness, pokey pokemon -ness. These are actually paintings that Logan did. These were like all commissions um, that we have to send out. This one though, I did myself. Um, minus that he, well, okay. He drew everything out and I colored it in, but I did that myself. I'm not blessed in like the drawing world, but I can like do stuff with my hands like clay. I'm really good at molding stuff. Oh, excuse me, and I'm good at painting once the outline's already done. So I did this one myself, five points for me. <laughs> and he did all the other ones, which these two are actually still up for grabs. So if you're interested in those, you can, you know, contact us and, you know, get one of those. But, I mean, he takes commissions on, like, anything. So if you want a particular painting of something, he can do it for you. Oh, yeah, Pikachu hat. Look how adorable this hat is. My mom got it for me at a con um, that I couldn't go to. Pika P. Pikachu. Pika Pika. Pika P. Pikachu. Pika Pika. Pika Pika. Pikachu. I can't do the the, the you know what I'm talking about, but I I get the other ones down pretty good. Nice. 
back. Pokemon brings all the nerds to the yard, and they're like, Do you wanna trade cards? Damn right, I wanna trade cards, I will trade you, but now my car is ours. <laughs> I can't keep up with the new ones, and personally, I don't really like one to. Like, I lost interest in the new, like, Pokemons they have nowadays because they're just so, like, different. No, I'm just, like, more old school when it comes to that. Like, the, some of the new ones are pretty cool, but I just like the older ones. They're my favorite still, and I still have, like, all my cards, and I have them in page protectors or, like, a card thing, and they, like, have a binder of them, and they're all, like, fancy and cool looking, and yeah. <laughs> Oh, I also have a really cute Pokemon themed Easter treat that I'm going to be doing a DIY on for you guys in the next couple days. But I'm so excited to share them with you guys because it's so super cute and uh -huh, I'm just really excited to do it too. I thought I'd share this awesome, delightful Pokeball brawl with my YouTube family that isn't a part of like my Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, which you should be if you have them because... So, you know, like we can just connect on all kinds of levels together, <laughs> But in case you didn't get to see it, now you got to see it here. I love you guys. Pika, 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 pika.